happens, but you know, the results are there, Harry. The proof is in the pudding. We saw Yampi, uh, you know, shut down Navi yesterday, beating Simple, despite, you know, Simple being two kills above Yampi in the BO3, as is tradition for Simple. He's always top of the server, but he's not going to win the game. And, and they're looking for a, for, for a fast victory here on Mirage. They're running right out the ramp, no waiting around. We got that boost up for Mizuta, but it's going to drop quickly, as will all the CTs. Yampi and Sergey finding those openers. Zai Wu with a quick tap, but he's only going to get one. Entz was so in the sight, they'll overwhelm him. And that plant is covered as well. RPK is going to have to commit if you stop it, but Yampi's got that cross. Oh, he's just so good. So unfair. Three kills in this pistol round, and it's all left on to shocks. He's going to remove Sunny. Now there's a lot more to do, a lot more on his plate. And Shox ain't feeling too hungry for this retake. He might just bow on out. He still has the full armor, so he's likely just going to try and hold on to that. Now, there's this guy called Yampi. <laughs> didn't really want to let Shox get away, and so he shuts everybody down. Four kills in the round from him. And uh, yeah, great start to the pistol. Yeah, uh, this guy is such a such a young talent. And we saw yesterday that he's great in the interviews as well. Like, a, you know, a, a nice smile on the dude and, and a happy guy. So yeah, I, I, I really hope that, you know, that he can compete one day in the world stages, Harry. But right now, at least for the short time, at least he's on ends, putting up numbers, showing us what he can do. I feel like this is our first Mirage game that me and you have casted here in DreamHack Masters. I can't recall any so far. So I'm actually excited to get into the business here as Entz look for a very puggy T side, just bursting into B right now. We got Sunny faking mid with a connector flashbang, but you can already see Vitality appealing back into B. Apex has realized the hard way he's got to give it up from the market. No one in the site. And the MAC-10s, well, they're going to start to wreak havoc. Yampi chasing 5-0 already. Shock's probably already looking to save as his team are on the A site. And, you know, Jacob, he may have been an Ents fan. He may have slammed Shocks a little bit uh, in that in that pre-match, but I think you know Shocks has looked really really good uh, here in DreamHack. You know, think about think about uh, the game yesterday uh, where they took on NIP and Shocks just went absolutely ham, forty-seven and nineteen in the series. I mean, he was unstoppable, and NIP barely got in that matchup. So. Yeah, as, as long as we can get that shock showing up today alongside the usual suspects, I think things can be okay for Vitality. But as we saw from those Betway odds earlier on, Ents are just that little bit favored. And after the result versus Na'Vi, I'm not exactly surprised. Well, the, uh, the reinvestment. Not able to come through just yet for Vitality. But they do at least hold on to uh, to what they've got. And really, doesn't make a difference, Hugo, if they make it or not. So let's see. This pistol round. Oh, no. What am I saying? Harry, they've got each other, and that's a lot. It right? is a lot. Um, but maybe not for love in wow. this round. Apex instead is more akin to something like violence. He shuts down Alu early on in mid. Now, of course, you got to bear in mind that there are the equivalent of 10 players over here in the apartment. Yampi in this position. Holding down this side of the map solo. But he does have the rest of the gang slowly but surely rotating in behind him. Now, Ents losing a man early on. Going to look to commit into this site. And they've got Yampi spearheading the push in. He does get dropped by RPK. Nergate, next man into the fray. And with Sunny coming up through short, they do make quick work of these B-site defenders. Zaiwu and Masuta left up in a two-on-three. And a bit of an unlikely retake. Oh, oh no, no Masuta! Yeah, Come on, man! That. Why are you making life harder for Zaiwu? Don't walk in front of a scout, <laughs> boys. And look at the damage he does as well. Two oh. tags, three players low. We've you all never, been there, man. You We've never walk in there. front of a sniper, Harry. You never walk in front of an AWP or a scout or just your teammates, really. That's what happens, you know? Uh, Mizuta, he certainly made that round harder for Zaiwu than it's, it needed to be. It's what it's like, you know, like when you play with your friends who, uh, who uh -oh. aren't really into CS as much as you should be holding an angle and they just go madly running into a retake like, woo! Like just charging in and yeah. It I don't know, man. Really Everyone work. I play CS with baits, so I, I can't really... Yeah, that's true. Actually. My <laughs> teammates true. never want to go in first. Here's Mizuta holding on first. to the ramp and he's looking to get stuck in over here on the CT side. He hears those smokes going out, and at this point he knows there's at least three players here. So he just keeps on holding, he keeps on waiting. Flash goes Ooh. in, but it's not deep enough to blind Masuta. He does get one, Alu in with a response, but this is where Apex comes in. An essential part of this two-man hold down at that aggressive ramp angle. And so now, even with these smokes on A, if you're Ents, you can't commit just yet. Sunny and Yampi are trying to carve a bit of a path. 
And Yampi almost able to secure that kill at Cat, but not quite. He gets dropped, Apex in with another, and this leaves Sergei all alone. Oh, he's got the first at least. That's opened up a path into this A bomb site. The AWP firing, and Zaiwu now spotted. Sergei knew RPK was up on the catwalk, but he's considering other options, and as he should be, RPK coming through jungle with Zaiwu. Sergei gonna stick the bomb here, very open. This is a big risk, but he's going to get away with it. Vitality of playing retake, and he shut down Zaiwu as well. Sergei yet to die, and he doesn't want this to be his first. It's RPK coming from the same position. Sergei jiggling, spotting. RPK's got the info. Sergei has two, and now he just has to wait on the box. Wait for RPK to overcommit. He's dropped. Sergei's heard it, but he's not going to hit the shot. RPK with the org, and he will find the round here for Vitality, the first on the board. An AWP back in window if he can get there in time, and I think he should just be able to. 10 second stick first, playing it safe. And Vitality at least getting around nice and early on, not letting End start to steamroll and get confident here on this T side. The AWP is saved. And well, the money is at least good for End, obviously. 3 0 lead. I think Yampi realized after he dropped that smoke that that probably wasn't the play. Uh, the second RBK swung out. And Yampi, he tried to get ahead of that. But you know, End's already down two men. Really difficult round to close. So again, gives it his best shot. Now 3-1, we've got Alu on the AWP. Obviously, you know, Yampi pulling up that second orb, we're gonna see it a lot more on the CT side, I imagine, than the T side. Train, he was a, a nuisance, a menace in the yard yesterday against Na'Vi, finding an ace and a 4K to shut out the map. So, yeah, I, honestly, I want Yampi on the orb, but I understand why, why Alu's taking it. We'll see it later on, I imagine, and if Alu ever dies or Yampi gets tagged up, that would be the perfect time to swap friends. Damn, Ali, back at it again with the B play. He's over here, boosted up at short side, looking for this kill into the site. And there is only one man here, 14 Vitality, Zaiwu, and the rest of the gang leaning heavily Ooh. over towards the A site. And with Alu getting that kill, Ents don't know it, but this B site is open, right for the taking. Now, little guy called Shocks, you might've heard of him. He's gonna come and rotate in to try and hold the line. But ultimately, Vitality, they're already locked out of B. And they know it. There's a lot of fire in the market that isn't normally there. So that's going to give the hint on over. Now, Vitality, in a four on four, not even going to attempt this retake. They're just too far away to really justify yeah. going for it. Right By the time they arrive, half the time's ticked off this bomb. And suddenly, you're, you're very much relying on winning every gunfight. You've only got one kit on Zywu, and you don't want to risk throwing any of these guns away. So it will just have to be this pretty horrible call of giving up this four on four round and looking to take what you have into the deck. Yeah, they probably would have insta-saved, but they got tempted by the fact that Zaiwu dropped Alu up on catwalk from uh, from A site. So, you know, that made Vitality move a little bit closer. But once they realized that Ents were like dug in, tucked into B, and uh, playing crossfires with the AKs, they knew there was just no realistic way they were going to win that round. Shocks, if he hit the jump, he might have had a kill. He might have had the AWP out of the hands of Ariel, but he's going to miss it. And Ents will survive with their guns and their wits. 4-1. Instantly finding a reset round off the back of Vitality getting on the board. RPK gets caught coming back in apartments as Alu is boosted up on Catwalk. I like that play. No mid info for Vitality. They can't afford to let that be a consistent uh, problem here. Flashes into the middle area could be a solution for Vitality in the mid round. Zywoo's going to go for it with the orb. Molly lands. He's going to take a shot anyway with the smoke at his feet. And Zywoo nails it as he often does. Yampi's dead. And that's an opening kill here for Vitality with Mizuta pushed on the ramp. He should have a kill here. And he does. Alu on the AWP. If Mizuta goes wide, he should die. But he gets away with two, dropping the bomb, finding an orb, and shutting out this round for Ent. Zywoo will join the party. And Sergei is wondering where it all went wrong. Nothing worse than getting smoked off at a one on four. And yeah, okay, a little optimistic <laughs> Apex, but I like the attempt. It just tries to run the gauntlet. And it doesn't always go your way when you try and do that, but it doesn't matter when you've got Zaiwu backing you up and in your corner. Wow. That was a nice little sequence from Zaiwu there to solidify all those kills. Did I think he's pretty that. good. Yeah, yeah, right? Someone like, told me. Kind of wild, isn't it? Yeah. Zai who? Zai Wu. 
And he's back in the B bomb site here. It's a triple stack for Vitality. Of course, Ents have been ruthless towards B in this game so far. So Vitality leaning towards this side of the map. This is okay. This is pretty common because you can afford to play retake setups on that A site when you have kits and suitors in the spawn for that. Yeah, he's making a lot of noise. Apex can't see him though. And now he definitely can't with that flashbang raining in. He's going to have to fall out eventually, right? Give that control to Ents. They've smoked top con. They will be taking it. Notice the bombs in B, but with this jump spot bait setup, Vitality haven't seen it yet. When they do, RPK will fall back, and the player on the balcony, that shocks, will be able to get multiple kills here. Ends should discount this position because of the jump spot. So there's the info. RPK trying to bait them in now from the car. Shocks waiting for his time to shine. He gets one. Trade is up. RPK dropping the bomb. And one by one, Ends will tumble to a close in this round. It's just two left up and stuck in the apartments. Talu, and it's sunny. And right now. This round not exactly shining bright for Ent. Zaiwu homed in on the R. Uh, just this is horrible. Look at the mini map. Yeah, Ent. Yeah. Like the moment they try and go into this window, it is just death. And Alu, actually not a fan of that, as it turns out. He's going to back away, try and hold on to this AWP. But this is going to be pretty much all Ents have to work with in this follow-up round. They, they pop a flash and they force Zaiwu off the angle, but then he just re-peeks into it. Harry, would you prefer holding an angle and getting peaked by Zaiwu or peeking into Zaiwu. I don't know what's better there. What do you, you know, you've you got either option if you're Ents, but I don't think either is a solution. <laughs> Tough uh, times. Yeah, I'd just wait like 10 years, 15 years till maybe he retires. retires. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then just, you know, try pick it all up again. Yeah, oh dear. Well, 4-3, Vitality at least starting to get back into the swing of things here. It may have been a nice start for Ents with that reset round off the back of Vitality's first, but even that bait and switch setup doesn't really get a lot of value there. Shox uh, pulls the trigger at the first fight on the player that jumps out the window. You can't blame him. It's his first kill, and he's going to get it, but instantly traded. Sometimes it's better to, to let the player jump out and kill the second man, because you can find multiple kills and not going to be expecting it. And of course, the first dude out in the apartments was a MAC-10 anyway, so of little value to Ends, at least in comparison. But right now, four players with weapons of little value for Ents. It's just the AWP on Alu, and on the plus side, if he dies, can be picked up by Yampi, who's back in spawn. So let's see where Ents decide to go with this. They're going to play this round around the AWP, hopefully flashing for Alu and setting him up in positions. Back right, towards middle they go. A little run boost getting set up here by Yampi and Ariel. And they're going to go flying through so Alu can peek off the back of it. There's no one to be found in mid just yet for Team Vitality. However, Apex is looking a little bit curious as to what mid has in store. Smoke over in the window. Apex is going to follow up with a nade through it. It doesn't find any damage. And while all this has gone on, sneaky little Yampi coming up into the back line in through connector. And he might be a little bit deeper than Apex is ready for. He's already out by the stairs. Apex is crossing over as well. Oh, he's behind Yampi. He is next to Yampi. He doesn't know it, but they are on the same staircase. And oh dear, Apex the stair master shuts down too. Does get traded by Sunny. That's now an AK retrieved. Maybe still a chance here for Ents in this round with the AWP of Alu coming out from ramp and Sergey up in the uh, the palace position with this wrap from Sunny into CT. He could do a lot of damage. He's got Zaiwu in the crosshair. Nice. And Zaiwu is deleted. Now picking up the pace. And they don't no know. one's looking. No one really doesn't realize. They didn't <gasps> notice that this was all from the back line. But there's so little time. Apex denies the oh. plant and doubles up. The savior, it's RPK. It's not Apex. I'm trying to give him more credit <laughs> than his due. But oh, RPK, no. the tank, sometimes misidentified as Apex. Little known fact. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what that, that round was a mess, Harry. Not just from the it really was, side, but from, from the I don't know how they didn't well. realize that, no. that, that Sunny was there. Where Zywu gets one tap, and he's like, uh, I don't know. Well, there's two places, Zywu, exactly where you're looking or behind you. And, <laughs> and if what, you didn't see and him, what are the odds that Zywu's missed someone who's in front of him, right? Like, that just doesn't happen. Yeah. So, that's, if I'm Zywu, yeah, whenever I get killed, I'm calling they're probably behind. Apex <laughs> does nail the man down here in the lower tunnels. That's Sergey getting deleted. And Apex bye bye. Looking for a little bit more. Mm. Delicious. Oh, oh, he's going in. Back for seconds. Apex, hungry yeah. boy. Oh, and now helped out by Shox. Coming okay. on in at the end. Dropping down. <laughs> 
This game's going to be a lot of fun, Harry. I can already feel it. I can already taste it. Mirage, Dust2, Nuke. These are the maps. And these are the teams. Vitality ends. It's pretty clear, isn't it? 5-4. Wow, man. Yeah. yeah. Crazy how nature do that. Or back out for Alu. He's not got armor here. He's got to be very careful with that AWP going towards middle. Zaiwu's going to get tagged on the uh -oh. jump. He drops under. And they know it. They saw it. So he's got to get the hell out of here. But good luck, Zaiwu. Maybe I don't need to wish him luck. He's pretty good without it. Apex gets killed through the smoke. And Zaiwu, the same story, backing up into the connector, into the AWP of Alu. Quick picks for Ents. They're going to play off the back of it as well. They may lose a man up in the apartment. RPK has been keen to push that position. But Ents now... Uh, you know, swayed away from the B site from that kill. They've still got a man in Palace, and they're going to try and play A. And Vitality have read this excellently. They've moved both players off a of B towards his site. Alu could clear out B, but he's going ladder room right now to try and sort the window side of things. And Vitality not only have Mizuta push down on the ramp, but now have a triple setup inside of this site. If there was any round that Vitality could win with a disadvantage, this would be it. Oh, no, Alu's clear B. Yeah, he's realized. Smart. He's like, guys, I, I'm not 100% on this, but I think there's no one at B. However, ends. Ooh, they're, they're sending yeah, Alu like in this. on a rapid like through CT spawn. He's going to try and hold down these rotations oh. while the bomb goes back in through B. This is the right call. RPK is checking behind him. RPK just looked behind him. And so Vitality are aware of the possibility. Mizuta's even pushed ramp. And with things going quiet, I think the pennies dropped. They worked it right out, but they worked it out too late, Harry. Enter already committing to the site right now. And this all from Alu is going to be a surprise. Not ready for it was RPK. And the bomb getting planted. The cat play denied too. That's a great reaction from Enter. A lot of teams, you know, would have just committed with a heavy setup they had right towards A. Couple in the connector. We had a man in Palace. Sergey could have popped out. But... That would have been a real problem because, firstly, Ents would have been drawn in by the CT side players, and they would have not even accounted for Mizuta on the ramp side. So, luckily enough, it's not a problem for Ents. They clear out the B-bomb site and get a plant, but now Mizuta's just got to do the boring task of saving his weapon. Vitality do have a good bit of money, though, luckily enough. So, other than Mizuta, everyone else is pretty much good, good to go, rather, moving forward. Alu finding picks with this AWP is lovely, too. And of course, we know Yampi is an AWPer, but a very capable rifler as well. Like, he's not going to be held back by using this gun. So, we're already seeing that true. Even Stevens right now, Harry. Yeah, I'm really glad that this matchup is competitive, right? And I'm happy that with, with Yampi in this squad, we're seeing uh, Ents looking better and better, right? Like, for the longest time, it was a very, very sad tale of just watching this squad drop off, right? Like, into into the abyss. And hopefully we can see the return of this great Finnish esports organization from Finland. Zai Wu down here in CT spawn. Nice. He's doubled up. Now Yampi and Sunny left in this two on four. Nade into CT doesn't find the damage they uh -oh. were hoping for. And Zai Wu. He might try and Ooh. screw them together here. There's one. Sunny gets deleted. Three kills for Zywoo. Yampi left up. No! Oh, almost the spray transfer, Ooh. but not quite. RPK does come out on top. Narrowly so. Six on the board for Vitality. They, they just about take the lead. Ooh, but Yampi so making close. it a little bit scary. I believe there for a second. Zywoo hits a very unfortunate time in backing off, but it, I mean, it gets his teammate killed. Luckily, he trades, so it's not really a problem in terms of the round, but Sharks won't be happy about that one at all. Lovely round for Vitality, though. RPK not getting transferred onto. Shox's 1.18 rating makes DreamHack Masters comfortably his best tournament on Vitality if he maintains it, which is, of course, the big if here for Vitality. How, who knows how far they're going to run in this tournament? This game is going to be a good uh, good test of that, right? Already beating NIP inside of this group yesterday with Na'Vi and Ents left to face. I say left to face. They're facing Ents right now. If you didn't know that, you should probably get some glasses. Vitality up six to five. Double orbs out for the CT side. Obviously none for Ents because, well, T side. So 
Stick with what you know. Fast mid take here for Ents and the Molly towards Connector. But look at the jump for Zaiwu. He's up on the catwalk. He's made the jump this time, and Ariel's not going to be ready for such a fast player up in this position. He's dropped, and Zaiwu just falls right back. Because of the triple B setup, Zaiwu's going to go back towards A. And that's great because Ents have now seen this orb towards B. They're going to be a little more aware of the catwalk. And Zaiwu, he's completely repositioned. He's taken the window. Apex is uh, going to swap with him so he can go towards CT. And now if Ents try and split this A site in anticipation of avoiding Zaiwu, well, well, they're walking right into him. This is a stalemate. Apart from these two aren't exactly mates. And Sunny coming out on the short end of the stick. Sai Wu saved Gosh. by Masuta. That was actually a team flash. It was Alu who threw it, blinding Sergei. Oh, he's going to try and make up for it. Nice little double, but RPK is nearby to get that trade. And even shows us, like, guys, look, we could have taken the AWP, but we didn't take the AWP. That was for the folks yeah. watching at home. That's a really unfortunate team flash as well, because Sergei found a really good gap to kill the AWP on the site after Zywoo took a shot. And, you know, it, it, it was clearly just a miscommunication where Ali's like, I'm flashing, Sergei's already committed, and he can't back up. He takes a shot, he gets blinded, and, uh, well, then he's, well, blind, as the name suggests. And lucky stuff for Ents, and now the money isn't there. Yappy's gone for the Hero AK in a round of pistols here, so we're going to need a big rug play out of this young Finnish player from Finland. Sunny dropped up on Cat. It's a fast B play for Ents, but a triple setup here. Shox is ready with a second orb, and well, it's a bit of a mow down. RPK in the site hasn't even been checked, and he'll drop the bomb. And one more. RPK looking to solidify the round, but Alu now in a clutch. Not his weapon, or not his AWP in his hand. But let's see what he can do with a rifle instead. 1v3 for Alu. Now 1v2, Ooh. but the orb peeking oh, no. in. Missed shot from Shoxi. Zaiwu gonna molly Alu out into the open. 27 points of health. He's taken down the first man, but he's gonna go above and beyond now. In it left, time on his side and trying to Ooh. deal with Zaiwu. Don't get many more chances at that, Alu. Zaiwu is gonna shut him down. Putting an eighth now on the board for Team Vitality. That was a time where this game was neck and neck at five to five. So the uh, Frenchman starting to pull ahead here towards the end of this first half of play. And in doing so, they've kind of gotten a bit of a hold on the economy in this one. Now I say that, right? Like they, they put Ents into a kind of end position where with a bomb plant, they can get a buy into this last round. And I, and I kind of figured really that Vitality's money would be better than it is. And of course, with the rounds being so close, they are also in a situation where they could get broken. So if Ents want to get back into this and keep this first half as close as it always has been, this round is a must. And it's not looking likely. Masuta and Zaiwu, they have been the gatekeepers of this A bomb site, and they are not letting anyone from Ents get into the swing of things. And now this push has had all the momentum sucked right out of it. Yampi falls, Sunny now 1v5. Don't fancy his odds in this one. And it's a flawless round for Team Vitality. Yeah, I mean, that's the example right there of why you don't go for contact plays on A, which is burst flashes against orbs, because, you know, no smokes down, Zaiwu, shocks, they're just free to roam, they're free to fire. Mizuta's in the spawn, he's got nothing, uh, you know, stopping him from just deleting those palace players. And yeah, even even one jungle smoke down for Ents, like a deep jungle smoke, not the typical one. And uh, Vitality just pushed through it, because why wouldn't they? They have everything to, to do with that A site, and Ents one by one get dropped. A gun round for the final round of the half, but it's lacking the utility. Really, all that's worked for Ents here in this game is B, more often than not. And now they're going to go back for it, but you'll notice that bomb is outside of the A site. So I think Ents are trying to throw in a little bit of a fake here and draw Vitality players away. Now, they might be able to get shocks off of the bomb site, but Mizuta, he's committed. He is dug in under Palace. So that's going to be the key player that Ents need to rid of this round if they want this B, uh, A bomb site, rather. B fake's not really coming through. The bomb's just uh, getting picked up and enter leaving B early on. They were just holding a default. Not exactly full of utility to throw fakes, but Sonny's lining up some sort of smoke there at the back of the apartments. He's going to put it away, but yeah, I, no, no fake at all. So Vitality just, they even push shocks into the site. They run a standard setup. We're going to see Ents go for, I imagine, full wall of smokes A actually be able to cut off these players. But the issue is, because they've left it so long, Vitality, they've got info. Zywoo's pushed the top and middle. They're ready for either contact B or an A execute. And that's why Vitality are playing two players inside of the site. These smokes will not affect them. A 
Molotovs have just made this grind to an immediate hole. And now End's going to try and go through. But at this point, Vitality are already prepared. And this double orb setup is just Ooh. picking players off one at a time. Sai Wu, wow. what is this? Three kills in the round. Oh, he goes through the legs of the final. 10-5, the half on Ents' map pick. These fins are going to need to swim as they move over to the CT side and try and get back in control of this game. Got Yampi on the kit smoke, Apex on the util, and Vitality with his T side pistol round. They're gonna go towards that B bomb site. Standard setup for Entin, nothing too special, and so Vitality certainly favored on a bit of a B rush. We're gonna need big kills. Ariel getting boosted, he gets there early. He's only got three kills, but he is feeling confident in this pistol round. The shots connecting, he's got two bomb drops as well. All the info in the world. Yampi's here to play, but he's not here to stay. It's Ariel who's gonna have to put up a bit of a display. He can't after two. Shots will trade, and now Vitality are in B. Ooh, Apex. It's shut down, oh. but Masuta will come in with quite the response. He's picked up three in this pistol round so far, and now just Alu left. Masuta Damn. gonna prove to be the pistol hero that Vitality never knew they needed. They certainly did. 11 now on the board. This pistol round found and a chance to really continue to solidify this lead in the second half. I said it yesterday. I'll say it again. It feels like every game we get with Mizuta, he shows more and more promise inside of this lineup. Like we knew he was a strong individual player, but, you know, fitting inside of a team, playing up against some of the best players in the world, that's a difficult move, uh, you know, for such a young and inexperienced guy. But he looks to be molding well in this team. And Yampi, same story. Pushing the top of middle, dropping Apex in this round. But it's a B rush vitality. Zai Wu on the bison. I love it. Oh dear, the French made weapon just uh, running into B. Nappy's going to find a second here. The UMP mops up a lot of damage, and Ariel even converts a kill to Zai Wu. It's down to two. And yeah, this force buy might work out for ends. Alu holding with the scout. If he could even find this tag onto RPK plant in the bomb, it would be certain death. However, he's able to get away with it. Sergey, next man in. Missing that timing onto Shock's crossing at the bench, but they at least know he's here. And that they've got him trapped in this position. RPK is looking into the apartments right now. No one is coming from here for the end side. As you blinked, it is, uh, it is just Ali left standing. So, yeah, Team Vitality, they'll get that one converted. Yeah, this is crazy dominant right now, especially considering this is Ents' map pick and how this game started. A 4-1 lead for Ents, a 5-5 scoreline, and then Vitality just go flawless and roll the end of the half. Ents have been so quiet uh, so far. It, it, it hasn't felt like one-sided, but you look at the scoreline and it really is. Pimp's just come at us, Hugo, with a oh. pretty interesting statistic. Okay. Now, you know, we love a pimp stat because why wouldn't you? Uh, we'll quickly revisit it though because there's a little stack thing going on. Nah, it's not going to matter. Don't worry. So, uh, Pip comes at us with a 17 out of uh, Zaiwu's 19 kills at the end of that first half of play We're on the AWP, and 12 of those AWP kills uh, came in the last five rounds of the half. So he just really popped off there. And that makes a lot of sense because it was, yeah. you know, when you remember it was 5-5, five, five, we were all tied up and then suddenly something just kicked Vitality up a gear. Well, you want to know who? It's the guy called Zai Wu. And it was Ents, you know, going for those contact plays on A, sometimes with smoke, sometimes without. But even when they were down, Zai Wu would push through them with the AWP. And, and, you know, considering there were two or three AWP, or two AWPs rather, two or three players on the A site, there was just so much of a defense for Vitality and they had no fear in going aggressive. They have no fear at all, Harry. Look at this bonus round. This is ballsy. Zai Wu's on a goddamn bison. But Ents have no head armor apart from Sergei. So this gun is lethal. So is the orb. And Yampi shows us why. Dropping Zai Wu from ladder and turning back to the cat because Vitality are hitting B. And uh, they've got a man in the enemy, or behind the enemy lines rather. That's Apex. This B play needs to come in fast because there are three players already here and rotations beginning to move. Sunny with one, traded by Mizuta. Ariel's still here on the catwalk. They don't know it just yet. He's only fired silent shots. Yampi dealing with a flank and he should be able to shut down this round if Ariel doesn't first he will get one and it shocks on the site without the bomb Yampi will finish it off and three kills with the orb this is what we wanted we didn't get to see him on the AWP in the first half because Alu always had it over him but now we're in the CT side now the money is there for, for Ents rather and you know you're obviously on the half where you're able to run a double orb pretty easily in this map Yampi's going to be able to fire on all cylinders this is what we want from the young gun finish player Oh, 
Ooh, Vitality, they're looking tempted to go for a fast B play here. Maybe even more than tempted. They, mo they put out that Molotov with the smoke and they go barreling through. Sunny and it's all mate aerial inside of the site. They, uh, they're not Ooh. really friends. They're, they're friends, maybe they're not. As uh, Sunny does actually deal with aerial on behalf of Team Vitality. He's going to look to make up for it by trying to hold down the catwalk. But no, he falls as well. And a missed shot from Alu leaves this in a two on two. Oh, dearie me. Don't have this round fall apart, oh, Brent, on the boy. back of a team kill. Alu sneaking in through the window, scoped up with the AWP. He hasn't made a noise yet. And so the Frenchman inside of the site, they've got no idea that their impending doom could lurk right around this oh, corner. No. But Alu has missed some timings of his own here. Sergey dealing with RPK in the 1v1. Wow. And Apex going to pick it up. Three in the round for him. He just York doesn't save care. Forward. I love that. I love the just instant repeat for Apex, just not waiting around. Like, what a risky play, but the results are in for Vitality. He takes both kills, he deals with that wrap round, and then he finds a second. You said it yourself, Harry. Alu missed so many timings. That's so unfortunate. He's scoped up. He's waiting for aggression, but Vitality, they're at the back left of the site. And even though he looks there, he looks there right as Apex repositions and misses everything. It's such a shame to see. Vitality up 14-6 right now with a tactical pause off the back of a win. That's got to feel good. They are making and sweat in this series. And now Vitality just making sure they can close this out at ease, right? You don't want to let Ents pull any kind of comeback. This is their map pick. They are on the favored half right now. Ents can still do this. And so Vitality know that they've just got to be very careful, have their wits about them, and shut this out before Ents even have the money available. So yeah, look at this buy. The double AWP has turned into double, double Deeg, and it's surrounded by three M4s. Ooh, double under push though. Real change of pace from Ent. Is this going to be the change they needed? Looks like it out of the gate. Sunny. That's the splash of RPK. Now these players do still have to try and get out of the lower tunnel. And getting there is one thing. The journey back is another. And Sunny is trapped. So they go into tunnels with two so they can play the trade game. And they don't need it. They, they deal with the man on the peak that is RPK. But it's the return journey that hangs Ents out to dry and now leaves Team Vitality a man up. Four on three and an empty B bomb site that they can just walk on into. This should be a Vitality round. This is a Vitality round, Harry. There's nothing Ents can do about it. They should just save the second this bomb gets planted. Like, you know, nothing in it. No money left up and against 15 at this point. And to realize the hard way. I mean, in the same vein, right? In the same vein that they should save, they could just go for it because whatever, it's 14 6. Like, this game is, is, is really falling out of your hand right now. And, you know, really, you've got to fight for every round if you want a chance to, to take a victory here. Playing for OT when you're nine rounds down is not safe. And, well, that's not fun either. Ariel getting tagged by the AWP. He's going to save the AK, get the hell out of there. And unfortunately, having to give up this 15 to Vitality. And the Frenchman has just won away from stealing Enter's map pick in the series. We know Dust 2 is next, Harry. Dear, oh dear, that can't be fun. Vitality slaughtered NIP on that map yesterday. As they often do to pretty much anyone who dares play it against them. So Ents are going to have to have their, some tricks up their sleeve. That being said, always been a good map for Ents. Always been a, a good AWP map for Alu. And with this double AWP that we're already seeing, you know, coming to effect here for Ents, it's a shame we haven't had that many CT rounds to, to see Yampi. The one round he's had the AWP, he found three kills with it. So, you know, hopefully we'll get more of that back on, uh, back on, du or moving forward on Dust too, uh, if Ents start on that CT side, hopefully. But it remains to be seen. Oh, Sunny lands the catch up, but they're already very, very deep. And they're looking to get stuck in to a bit of Sunny. Oh, Masuta that's a great bait. going to pick it up. That's actually sick. I, I doubt it was purposeful, but Apex runs up cat. Sunny hears him. He aims for him. And then Sunny, uh, Apex backs off, rather, and Mizuta peeks from far away. Apex, uh, Sunny is looking close, Harry, but instead he should be looking far. Little does he know. And a bullet to the brain. Well, that will pick up an advantage for Vitality early in the round. Oh, oh dear. man, it is just read off the read for the Vitality boys and shot off the shot landing as well. Masuta getting into the ladder room. He's going to hold down this point of rotation. This makes life very, very hard for Yampi and Alu. 
and, and it kind of hamstrings them to come in through CT. And it's not like the normal CT retake in a two on five where you're already hating life. The thing that makes it even worse is that they know you're here. They've heard you and you know they've heard you as well. You, they, you're just walking into all these crosshairs